Yo, what the hell is a flippant? Welcome back. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. This is the Flippant Podcast, and I am your host, Flippant. Today, I want to talk about another YouTuber, male YouTuber, who asked a question. His name is Chisha Zed, by the way. Chisha Zed on YouTube. You can find him. I'll post this link down in the description below. If I don't, hit me up in the comments and let me know that I need to do that. All right. But you you guys might know him too. He is well spoken, a well spoken gentleman from Africa, a place in Africa. He's mentioned it a time or two. But anyways, he posed a question, is a girlfriend better than a wife? Um, let me tell you about the wife side of it first. A wife, she cannot, uh, she does not have to testify against you in open court because that's a conflict of interest. Um, you have babies with her and you, you're, you're, 80 percent sure that those kids are yours which i mind well i remind you go and get a dna test um if you are feeling a certain type of way um and uh they they are they they're really great secretaries i don't know if you've ever watched the the tv show suits but like that's how you would want your woman to be she stands up to you and she stands with you all right the only woman that can do that that's on the marriage side all right on the girlfriend side, you have things like, you know, she's she's always working for that wedding ring, always working. And people who are working for the promotion are doing a lot more than the people who have the promotion already. All right. I don't mean to be uh, uh, I don't want to come off like an asshole whenever I'm saying this type of stuff. But this is true. All right. A girlfriend is willing to work and compromise more to get the wedding ring. I've seen lifelong girlfriends stay fit, stay optimistic, and stay in that, like they were doing things that wives are supposed to do. Now, where you, where there's a disconnect here is on, from the, uh, after they get the promotion to wife, a lot of them decide to fall off, all right? We're talking about gain weight and they'll call it baby fat and you know it's like 10 years after they had the kid it's like you can't be blaming a kid for this no more you know what i'm saying because we like the snapshot of before we got you the wedding ring we like that snapshot of you and that's going to change i get it you're gonna have some women out here going like well we have your babies for you i had three children i've seen women become fit after having three to five kids i've seen it but guess what? They're not wives. They're baby mamas. And they have to they have to continuously be on the prowl for the next man to come into the life and for the next man to come into your life. Do you see where I'm going with this here? Because if she's always hunting, she's always gotta be fit to hunt. Alright, hold on. Let me bring this down a little bit. Cause I'm not mad at anybody here. Just want to tell you the differences between having a wife and a girlfriend and things that can happen and the reason why men are hesitant to take that final step because we like things too right as men we like things too we like sugar walls we like having somebody that's there to cook and clean and uh, you know be, do the do the housework and all that stuff. take care of the children we we like that stuff too but see what happens is a lot of that goes away like uh there was comedian dl hughley he was like uh uh he only gets uh uh you know bjs on his birthday uh the 364 other days what am i getting nothing like you're getting nothing like it, they're special occasion now a girlfriend is like in the car while i'm traveling to wisconsin during the daylight like she's got no problem with it you just kind of like glance over towards the back seat it's like and you know we got a little bit of time you know what i'm saying you think you could do that with a wife you can't she won't let you all right and not to push off marriage because i am an advocate for marriage but it's kind of hard to be an advocate for something that's failing these days and it's failing at an alarming rate and women are the ones that are failing their relationships because not only are they not doing what they're supposed to do in the relationship doing what they had to do to get the relationship because on the other side we can say guys the same thing we got to provide we got to protect all right not only are they you know not doing what they're supposed to do in that marriage 
I lost train of thought. They're the ones causing the, the high divorce rate. Women are getting rid of their men 80% of the time. They're home wrecking themselves. And let me go down the little rabbit hole here and let you let you in on a little secret. The reason why they are uh, falling for divorce is because they're not doing what they're supposed to do in the first place, which is to keep your balls drained and your stomach full. Like, I, if, if, if I'm hungry and I walk out of the house, I'm gonna go down to the Burger King <laughs> and pick me up a burger, some fries. They don't look at you like, oh my God, like what, is my cooking not good enough? They don't do that. But let you not get drained at home and you go out to the little corner and you pay for it there and holy shit, she ain't gonna go, uh, oh, is, is mine not good enough? Well, see, the thing is you haven't been giving it up. That's why I went to go pay for it, like a burger and fries. Like, it, it, let me know if I'm coming off ignorant here. It, Cause I'm not mad or anything like that. I just think that there's, there's a, uh, um, uh, what is it? Not crime and punishment. It's something else that goes along with that. It's like uh, uh, the cause and effect. That's pretty much it, you know? What caused your husband to stray? Oh, because you weren't making sandwiches and draining balls anymore, like, yeah, no kidding, right? It's not rocket science. So I'll leave you with this, man. There's a lot more to there's there's a lot more to having a girlfriend than to having a wife. And there's some wives out there that are willing to you know stay fit and give you all the kids you want and cook your dinner and and those people you never really hear about. They're off in the cut doing their own thing, right? They have no problems, all right? That's a very small number and you're also running the risk of You know your girlfriend's awesome. What's gonna happen when you get married and it's something that you guys should talk about This is these are my standards right here And even if you do talk about them your standards as men, they really don't matter to women They're gonna do whatever they want to anyways, so I wholeheartedly say hey maintain a girlfriend Don't get married All right maintain a girlfriend don't get married. You don't need that drama in your life. Um, for women, I would say do play your role and play it to the fullest. All right, because we appreciate those things a lot more, um, especially whenever they're genuine and you know you take it upon yourself to do it. It's like you know having a man is a job. <laughs> a blow job. <laughs> having a man is a job. All right. Take your job seriously, because if you're willing to work for another man and, you know, you're you're going to be late to work and you speed to work just to get to him, you're doing all these things for another man. But the man that's in your life, you're kind of leave, leaving him hanging. You understand what I'm saying? All right. This has been the video. Relatively short one. I'll see you in the next one.